It is my pleasure to be here today to talk to you about our announcement to mayoral candidates that will be contesting the primary of Action SA in the 2021 local government election. Like so many things, the origins of this moment lie in the people's dialogue. On the 6th of December 2019, a dialogue was started with the South African people that solicited the views of 2.4 million South Africans about what they want for the future of their country. One of those things that emerged from that discussion was the concept of direct democracy. In essence, South Africans are fed up with a system where they vote for a political party and that political party gives them the candidate that it suits them to give. The system has not worked and it has produced public representatives that are not accountable and are not the very best candidates that could be put forward to serve South Africans. Broadly speaking, this can also be understood as electoral reform. But the challenge with electoral reform is it requires members of parliament to elect to have greater accountability. And members of parliament have demonstrated over and over again that they are not interested in more accountability. This is why Action SA took it upon ourselves not just to talk about direct democracy, but to live this value very directly. And what we did is we changed the concept of candidate selection which is the process of political parties sitting in spokeful groups determining who the candidates will be, and we turned it into candidate elections, in which we invited members of the public, whether they are members of Action SA or not, to participate in the election of our candidates. The most important feature of the system is direct accountability, because just like in any job, the people who appoint you are the people to whom you are accountable. The implication of this is that when people are elected by their communities, they are accountable to their communities. The system of accountability that will follow in the wake of these elections is that our elected representatives will be accountable to their communities, and at the midterm period of the five-year term of office, a midterm election will be held, at which time it will be determined what the level of satisfaction is with the service of their public representatives. If that level of satisfaction is not above a certain predetermined amount, that person will be replaced by somebody else using the very same system. Our candidates and our public representatives will be accountable to their communities, first, and the party second. In this regard, we opened a system of voter registration where any voter could come forward and register to vote in our primaries. The primaries were to be conducted in the Gauteng metros of Johannesburg, Kurumeni, and Chwane, and they were opened on the 13th of April. South Africa, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. We were powerful enough and brave enough to stand up against apartheid, and now we must once again find courage, lead from our collective strength, because believe me, we are powerful enough to end the ANC's end reign of terror especially against the poorest among us. I am Gerardo Mugeli, an ordinary, concerned South African who has watched her country descend into a state of chaos. And those who know me well know that I despise chaos and dysfunction. For far too long, we have allowed so-called traditional politicians to run rampant and destroy our country. The ANC government would do well to remember my name and the names of my colleagues who are here with me today because we've been desperate for an alternative political voice to emerge. And little did we know that we are the ones we've been waiting for. I think all South Africans can now agree that at the heart of all of our problems as a society is the ethical barrenness of the ruling party. The name is Herman Mashaba, as all of you know me. I'm the uh, ex former executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg with unfinished business. I left the city three years into my mayoralty, so I still had two years to, uh, to, uh, to say. I left the city with 170 million rents of infrastructure backlog at the time, which I put in a much, it is much worse by today. When I took over the city, 300,000 housing backlog with our people living in the periphery of, uh, of uh, RDP housing uh, schemes, uh, such a big failure. Uh, with the project of the inner city rejuvenation project, where we wanted to reclaim our city from the criminal syndicate so that we can build affordable accommodation for our people. When I tell them I left, 
154 buildings were already afforded to the private sector to build affordable accommodation for our people. Unfortunately, that project has not been done. And we have already identified 6,000 properties that by now should have been given to the private sector to build uh, uh, affordable accommodation for our people. 35 billion rents of fraud and corruption that needs to really be addressed. There's not no matter that you can live unattended. What are the key priorities? The first thing that we need to do for this example is to remove the AIDS for us to really be able to move yeah. forward. We need to, to create and ensure that um, all these uh, uh, the, the people who have really created this mess in our city are removed. We need to create a public program in the professional public service. We need to do the lifestyle audits and skills audit on all this key deployment in our city because these are the people responsible for working with these corrupt politicians responsible for the, for the mess we live. Ladies and gentlemen, we need as a city engage her home affairs to deal with the issue of uh, undocumented foreign nationals. Illegal foreign nationals, it's a must be a priority as a city. We need to get the home affairs to really deal with us. We need to expedite the reclaiming of this high tech uh, derelict abandoned building. We need those uh, properties back for our people who are now living at the periphery of our, of, of our city. We need to uh, declare corruption public enemy number one. 